Waterfront Toronto's mandate really is the 2,000 acres that lie right next to the central business district of downtown Toronto. So it's an area that's from sort of uh, past Ontario Place over to Leslie Street Spit area. So it's really the downtown harbour area and it comprises around 2,000 acres. Uh, so in that we'll have roughly 40,000 residential units, 10 million square feet of office space, plus opportunities for recreation, culture, entertainment, uh, and all those aspects as well. So it's, a, it's probably one of the largest waterfront revitalization projects in the world and the largest in North America. We're creating this new community and, and the intelligent community aspect of it is the backbone of it. This is really what's going to make the waterfront different. This is going to make it quite special. Well, one of the key challenges I think that we have that we need to overcome is to build a sense of community in a brand new set of neighborhoods and also to be able to deal with that reality that we have a lot of folks who will be moving in in a few years time that have already committed to being part of this neighborhood. So by using connections we can begin to integrate them into the fabric of the community before they even arrive and have them as part of the discussions around decisions that are going to be made and as well to get to know their neighbors and the amenities in that area so they really do feel like they're a part of the new Waterfront Toronto communities. The IOC uh, platform that is going into the portal and sort of going to be the enabler for our intelligent community uh, it's, been, it's very robust. And so for us to look at building a, a community for the future, it was important for us to have a platform that allowed for all services to go on. So not just those things for social collaboration, but those other things that basically require very important privacy considerations like health, telehealth, uh, government services, all those kinds of things. So we're very comfortable and excited that IBM is providing a sort of robust platform. The IBM platform provides a very secure environment and it's standards based so it'll allow us to work with very diverse partners moving forward, even those that have not yet been involved in our smarter city or intelligent community space that are interested in, in learning more about how they can actually more effectively take large data and provide the analytics over top of that to do uh, proper analysis and get the insights out of it that businesses, governments and so on will be looking for in this day and age.